Hello, welcome to Christ the King's Service of Compline. This is Friday, February 19th. The opening sentence, the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Page 57, the confession of sin. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God and Father, we confess to you, to one another, and to the whole company of heaven, that we have sinned through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, raise us up to serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, Grant us forgiveness for all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. A portion of Psalm 31, verses 1 to 6. In you, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. And be my strong rock and house of defense, that you may save me. For you, my strong rock and my castle, be also my guide, and lead me for your name's sake. Draw me out of the net that they've laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading from Jeremiah. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not leave us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, by your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Nunc Dimittis. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us this night and evermore. Amen. This concludes our service of Compline and concludes our morning prayer and Compline services for this week. I hope that Lent, which is early, has been uh, fruitful, even in a small way so far, in drawing closer to Christ. I pray that you have a wonderful weekend. Hope to see many of you at worship at Christ the King on Sunday. We'll be back on Monday with morning prayer. God bless you.